Hello friends, welcome back, hearty welcome to you. In this video, we will see how to find out the area of a minor segment of a circle, a general case where the radius is r and the central angle is theta of the sector. Now what is the area of the minor segment of a circle? In this figure, you can see that this area is the area of the minor segment of a circle and that can be obtained by taking the area of the sector and from that subtract the area of the triangle. So, let us write down that. Area of minor segment of a circle equals to area of sector OAB minus area of triangle OAB. Area of sector, we know that for 360 degrees, we have area of circle pi r square. For theta, how much will be the area of the sector? That we can easily know that it is theta by 360 degrees into pi r square minus area of triangle OAB. Now, this we have to calculate. So, let us say this triangle area is half into base into height. Let us take the triangle and try to get it here and say that we have R, we have R and we have theta by 2, theta by 2 and this is base divided into two equal parts and this is the height. We just need to calculate the area half into base into height. For that, we will use trigonometry and we will find out first what is sin theta by 2. Sin theta by 2 is opposite by hypotenuse. So, it will be b by 2 divided by r or can we say that sin theta by 2 equals to b by 2 r or b equals to 2 r sin theta by 2. Now, let us find out h for that we will do cos theta by 2. What is cos theta by 2? Cos theta by 2 adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So, we will have cos theta by 2 equals to h by r or h equals to r cos theta by 2. Now, we got base and height. We can go and substitute here and half into base into height. Half into 2 r sin theta by 2 into r cos theta by 2. Now, 2 and 2 will cancel. So, left out is area of triangle OAB is given by r square sin theta by 2 multiply with cos theta by 2. Now, the formula we got is area of triangle OAB is equal to r square sin theta by 2 multiply with cos theta by 2. What happens if you have specific scenarios of theta values like 90 degrees, 60 degrees, 120 degrees we see? then we can use this formula to calculate the area of segment for a circle, given circle. Now, let us say suppose the triangle is an equilateral triangle that means theta equals to 60 degrees. Let us take the scenario 60 degrees, 90 degrees, generally used 120 degrees. Let us see for each one of them what will be the area of the triangle. If theta is 60 degrees, we have r square into sin 30 degrees, 60 by 2 is 30, again cos 30 degrees, sin 30 is 1 by 2, cos 30 is root 3 by 2. You multiply them, you get root 3 by 4 into r square. Now, suppose you take theta as 90 degrees, you have r square sin 45 degrees multiply with cos 45 degrees. 
that will give you 1 by root 2 into 1 by root 2 1 by 2 r square. If theta is 120 degrees, we have r square sin 120 by 2 that is sin 60 degrees multiply with cos 120 by 2 cos 60 degrees. Again, you will get root 3 by 4 into r square. Now, this formula is not there in the NCRT textbook in 10th grade, but if you have problems related to area of minor segment of a circle for competitive exam. So, then you can use this formula to calculate the area of minor segment of a circle. Area of minor segment of a circle that is the area between the chord and arc of the circle is given by chord and minor arc of a circle is given by area of the sector O A B minus area of triangle O A B. Area of sector O A B we know that is theta by 360 into pi r square minus area of triangle O A B given r is the radius and theta is the central angle. Then area of triangle O A B we saw that it can be found out that it is r square into sin of theta by 2 into cos of theta by 2. If theta is 60 degrees, the area will become root 3 by 4 r square because it is an equilateral triangle. If theta is 120 degrees also, we will have the same area root 3 by 4 into r square. If theta equals to 90 degrees, then the area of triangle will be half into r into r or half r square or using the formula also we can see that which is equals to half r square. Now, that is how we can calculate the area of minor segment of a circle. Now, how to calculate the area of major segment of a circle? So, other than this part remaining whole circle area you want to calculate that is our major segment which is nothing but equals to area of circle minus area of minor segment. 